What's up everybody? So this is gonna be a first for me. I'm gonna try to shoot a deer hunt video. It is opener today and we've got a big field here. <clears throat> there's you can see there's a oh you can see yeah. So there's corn here. Standing corn. Um farmer didn't get it all off, which is great for me for deer hunting. Um but I have a buck and a doe tag both. So if either or walks out, um actually I'm I'm holding out for a bigger buck. I'm not gonna shoot a small one you know not just a little dinky guy but if a doe steps out we're gonna take that too um so it might not be a giant buck video it might just be a doe video who knows but <clears throat> got my blaze orange on um i'm gonna set up a tripod and use my phone is all hopefully that works out fine um got my new winchester 308 over here my nikon scope it's kind of cool i'm sure lots of guys you have seen it um there's a ballistic app on your phone for the scope you can look at your your markings on your scope and it tells you exactly how far that shot placement should be you just go into the app and you put in your exact bullet you're using and everything and i actually tried it out at the range and sure enough um, my second post at 199 yards i put it at 200 yards and i hit three times and i don't know a circle i don't know about the size of a hat i suppose but these are not going to be very long shots i'm guessing 100 yards or less so it should be a good guarantee anyway we're gonna get out in the field try and get us a deer you guys guys i'm just hunkered down in the edge of the corn here the deer come out from right there or they come from that north end of the field here and they just they filter past here what it is <clears throat> i've had my trail camera up there for like five days i haven't checked it in five or six days i got the camera on or the card on me i'm gonna check it quick but a lot of deer filter right out of that north end up there there's a so this is, this is why I'm set up here. Up there at the north end, there's a cul-de-sac with like seven or eight houses in it. So I can't shoot that direction. A lot of people would say, ah, the ground will stop it or the trees will stop it. But you, I mean, you can't be careless like that and just assume that that's what's gonna happen. So if there's any deer coming, I'm not gonna shoot at them until they get into this opening right here because that's just a big open cornfield and crp and stuff and so there's there's nothing back there that could possibly hit it's imperative that you you know you try to be pretty safe because you don't want anyone getting injured and you don't want to um you know you don't want to hit a house or something that's just ridiculous What is up everybody so i uh am out deer hunting this morning it's sunday yesterday was opener here in minnesota rifle season <clears throat> i tried to shoot a video last night of me deer hunting um some does and fawns and stuff came out i i want to shoot a doe that doesn't have fawns so um it didn't it didn't happen last night i'll show you a little bit of that footage um then this morning <clears throat> i'm not gonna lie i a doe came out you're gonna see you're gonna see this this doe stop and i uh i don't know i i my 
my glove was hanging up on my gun and I was trying to shoot because I went, Meh, you know, to get it to stop. And it was, you'd have to see it to see what happened. But anyway, I didn't even get a shot at that doe. That doe ran off into the swamp. I was bummed out, but at the same time, I was still hopeful because I've been having pictures of some nice bucks, um, you know, early morning, like between 7.30 and 9.30 in the morning, you know, they're chasing this time of year. And um, yeah, I had a few more deer walk by, but then out of nowhere, a buck that I haven't had on camera in about a month came out of nowhere to my right. A big, heavy, it looks like a nine, but it ends up being, I don't know. I mean, it's a mainframe nine. I'm gonna call it a 12 because the points are small. But man, does it have mass. I can't wait to show you guys this video, man. My first deer hunting video. I shot with my phone, so apologize, but let's get to that video, guys. Matt. Matt. Oh, that was crazy. That big buck came right out of nowhere. All right, you guys, it's like 7.40. I had some does and fawns come by here, and uh, I didn't want to shoot the doe. They had fawns with them. I'm sitting here. I've had some pictures of some nice bucks on cameras here around 8 o'clock in the morning, and that buck came straight out of there looking for does. Came right across here. That was like a 60-yard shot from my gun. I'm sure he's laying dead right over there. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm super excited. You guys don't even know. I'm pretty sure that is a big nine pointer I've been chasing with my bow. I could be totally wrong, but we're, we're going to give him like 20 minutes. We're going to go check it out. All right, guys. Sweet. Here we go. I think it is. I think it's him. It is, you guys. You guys, I've been after this deer for freaking weeks. <laughs> oh my god, this thing is way bigger than I thought it was. Look at the freaking rack, dude. Oh my gosh. You guys, this is ridiculous. Oh, oh my gosh, you guys. Look at the mass on that deer. All right, guys. So here it is. Gosh, the honestly, on the video, it didn't look this big to me. Um, you know, a lot of times there's always ground shrinkage on deer. This buck does not have ground shrinkage. This thing blew up when I got up to it. Look at, he lost his eye, first of all, um, in a fight. I do have another buck on camera that has a busted off G2. I assume he, maybe he was the one that was fighting with him. 
but this is a big deer. I've had this on camera. I actually missed this deer with my bow three weeks ago. Um, I know it's him just looking at the mass. I thought it was a different deer, but looking at the mass on this thing, look at how thick the mass is. Isn't that just ridiculous? This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fall pointer. It's a mainframe nine, but you know what? We're deer hunters, and if it's a point, we're gonna count them, right? But gosh, just look at that. Look at the mass on that. I'm definitely, this one's gotta go on the wall. I haven't shot one for the wall in a few years, but I've been chasing this one for a while. Wish I could have gotten my bow, but I'm not gonna complain. I don't think anybody else will. Um, I noticed on social media lately, a lot of people are shaming rifle hunters. You know, rifle, bow hunters are like, oh, I, you know, yippee skippy, you shot with your rifle. But hey, everybody, just remember, when it comes to like anti-hunters and stuff, I mean, we're all on the same side, right? We all wanna hunt and they don't want us to hunt. So just remember that, rifle hunters, bow hunters, cross bow hunters, we're all together on this, all right? So anyway, this probably wasn't gonna be a very long video, but I tell you what, it was my first deer hunting video and I'm so glad it went down so well. Um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, subscribe.